Um, so my name is Matt Quinlan. Um, I am a lifelong resident of the state of Maryland <coughs> and a current resident of District 40. I'm um, proud that um, my local senator has introduced this bill and I'm really excited about this. Um, I just wanted to share my experience having worked in restaurants. Um, like I said, I've worked in restaurants for about 10 years. Um, I have a degree in professional cooking from Baltimore International College. Um, my experience is contrary to what was mentioned earlier about restaurants being very liberal about leave. Um, my experience has been that when I'm sick and working in a restaurant, the expectation is that I show up for work if I want to keep my job. Um, if I don't show up for work, I may lose the risk of, um, I run the risk of losing my job or losing my wages. Um, as sick leave in, in is most typically not offered. Um, in, in at least a dozen or so fine dining restaurants that I've worked in in and around Baltimore City. Um, a quick anecdotal experience that I'll share um, with that is first-hand experience for me. So working in restaurants, having been very sick and having been, um, I don't think patient zero in this instance, but um, having a coworker that sort of brought an illness into the restaurant and a number of us were, were really sick and it was sort of during a holiday season. Um, so the expectation is that people are there, people are working, we're busy. Um, so, so what was used in this instance was these five gallon pickle buckets that are, that are common practice in restaurants. We use them for the pickles, then we recycle them and use them for whatever else. the committee get us canceled tonight. <laughs> so, yes. so you can probably hear where I'm going with this. So rather than having people running to the bathroom to um, vomit people who are sick and then coming back to work, we just put these buckets on either end of the line and people are able to do what they need to do and continue working. And this is sort of an extreme example, but this is not out of the norm. This is not atypical. Um, people get injured in restaurants. They sort of bandage up and put duct tape over your hand, and you just keep working. Um, so this is, this is my experience in working in restaurants. I've never been given paid time off, and I have worked while sick in, like I said, about a dozen fine dining restaurants um, in and around Baltimore City. I won't name them, but um, just know that this, is, this has been my experience. And this is, um, I guess this concerns me most, and I'll say this and then I'll stop, is, um, not just for the individual need, though the individual need is great for people with families, um, people with children, um, people who are providing for them other than themselves, but also for the public health need. Um, as is pretty obvious in that example, the public health, um, you know, our hands as restaurateurs are sort of literally in the public health of our community. So it is um, with those things in mind that I would urge this committee to vote favorably on this bill. Thank you.